So I've been saying for days that uh, the Paul Ryan nomination, I guess, or pick as vice president opens up the door to provide to box in President Obama to force him to take a position politically that Medicare should be untouched. Now, you can see attempts by the Obama administration and campaign to make the argument that Paul Ryan was obstructionist, that he stood in the way of a grand bargain. But as it becomes more and more clear that Medicare is going to be the issue in this election, they're going to have to draw a, bra a, a, a brighter line, at least is my hope, uh, and f and it will force them to take a position like Joe Biden took the other day on Social Security. Social Security will not be touched. Now, that's just the vice president, and that's Social Security. But this is the tra trajectory. And I'm not the only person who has seen that it could go either way. Digby highlights this clip from CNBC, which makes it clear that at the very least, there's fear that this will scuttle a grand bargain and an opportunity to cut Medicare. And we will allow the hedge funder, John Taylor, to uh, express this on CNBC. Here he is on CNBC. This is his first uh, uh, response as to why he has a problem with Paul Ryan. And believe me, it's, well, it's not because he has a problem with Paul Ryan's positions. The problem he has is that, well, I'll let this hedge fund guy, John Taylor, explain. Thank you. How does Paul Ryan hurt Mitt Romney's chances? Well, I think that Paul Ryan makes this a, makes this a, a vote entirely on, uh, um, on his tax and, and spending package. And I think that that's very difficult because you're going to lose all the old guys. I mean, I'm an old guy and my friends are saying, gee whiz, I like what I've got. And you can argue that, oh, it's not going to change so much, but they're scared and you're going to lose Florida. Because of his stance on, on Medicare. Yeah, yeah exactly. So yeah. what, we can't handle the, the, the straight talk is too straight for some? Right. I mean, you do this, you know, sort of on the sly. You don't do this as a public opinion poll. This is a very, very public poll. And boy, there's going to be a, a good argument. It's going to be fun to listen to, but they're not going to win. Because he, he's going to cost Mitt Romney the election in yeah, your estimation. I believe so. Okay, so here it goes. Like, you know, the, the, the problem with this pick is it puts Medicare out there and puts it open to debate. You can't let these peons weigh in on this. So he's going to lose. But he goes on to explain more explicitly what the problem is with debating about whether or not you're going to cut a program that provides health care for elderly people and keeps them out of poverty. Let's listen to Jeremy Siegel. I'm sure you know Mr. Siegel uh, from the Wharton School, of course, was on the show yesterday, had these uh, thoughts to say uh, about Paul Ryan. Let's listen and get your reaction. I'm very pleased uh, with the choice. It's real substance. It takes guts to touch the third rail of politics, which is Medicare. And, and I, I, I uh, think the choice is a, is a bold one and a good one. You wholeheartedly disagree with the professor. Yeah, I agree that we have to do this stuff, but you don't want to do it in public. I mean, but well, when uh, the heck are we going to do it? Isn't it time to, to stand up and, and, and say something? that no one wants to hear and, and finally do it. I mean, other politicians have right. done things that are not, not popular. Right, but the, Christie, a, you know, Walker up in Wisconsin. Exactly, but normally they do it on the day after the election or the month after the election when they've got a couple of years running space rather than before the election. And I think he's going to lose. So therefore, if you think this is a good idea, this is not the way to do it. There you go. If you think this is a good idea, i.e. screwing average Americans out of their capacity to have health care in their retirement. This is not the way you do it. You don't, you, don't let the, you don't let the peons see you do it. You do it when you're out of range of being punished for doing it. If you're going to steal, <laughs> you do it at night, not during the day, is what this guy is saying.
And uh, so my hope is that this guy is correct. That not only, because I thought Romney was going to lose anyways, but it's going to um, screw up their old plans of coming to a grand bargain to basically screw the peons out of their health care. You know, in exchange for a couple of loopholes closed, we can get around those. So thank you, Paul Ryan. Thank you, uh, Mitt Romney. Still going to make fun of you for putting a dog on your car. <laughs>